When we connect feedback loops together, they can interact with each other. And while there are a range of signs and symbols used in the drawing of feedback loops, we still have just two types, balancing and reinforcing. In the lily pad example, we see a basic reinforcing loop. More complex loops can have several steps. For body temperature, we can regulate by oscillating, shivering or not shivering, depending upon our body temperature. Or we can explore the cyclical nature of revolutions in response to oppression. Or how we adjust the speed in our digital cruise control systems. And if you have done the robotics activity from last week, the line following activity is a good example of a feedback system. An easy way to tell if a loop is reinforcing or balancing is counting the number of negative connections. If it is an odd number, there will generally be a balancing loop. Now stock flow diagrams can become quite complex and involve many loops. This is, a, this is an example from the storybook Rats of Nim, looking at the systems involved in cleaning a house. What we see here is a connection circle. It is an alternative way of identifying feedback loops. We have two ways of doing so, stock flow maps and connection circles. Stock flow maps are the most involved and provide detailed understanding of the changes involved. But connection circles can be much quicker if we just need a basic understanding. They are formed by identifying and placing around the circumference all of the elements involved in a system, then drawing arrowed lines showing how elements affect one another, with positive and negative labels for positive and negative effects. From this, loops can be identified, and feedback or causal loops generated. And of course, these can be, again, both reinforcing or balancing. So using these two techniques, stock flow maps and connection circles, students should be able to generate causal feedback loops to better understand the systems they are exploring related to their problems. And this provides opportunities for students to identify aspects of the system that can be improved or changed by the use of digital technologies, or to build entirely new system models that approach solutions to their X problems in ways not previously considered.